I have water in a beaker. Then I'm going to add acid. You know what? H2SO4. Oh, most people know this one, which is sulfuric acid. Very dangerous, right? You're not going to play with this one at home. Also, you have to know the safety instruction first. Also, we deal with the amount of this chemical. We use more. Oh, more. Okay, one more, two more, three more, so things like that. Okay, so uh, just as we used gallon for milk, right? So one gallon, two gallons, three gallons, things like that. Okay, so one more of any chemical, which is, let's say molecule. Okay, one more of molecule, which is sulfuric acid right here, is 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd power molecules. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to add just one molecule. That's it. Now it's going to be completely dissolved in water. Uh-huh. Just like this one. So H2, each H is a positive ion, which is cation. So it's going to be 2. So 2 right here. That's what I'm going to do. Also, sulfate ion, which is, oh, that's going to be negative 2 ions, we call anions. Okay, this one right here, okay, positively charged, so we call cations. Okay, this one, anion. Uh-huh. So, anions. Now, I'm going to introduce five coppers. Oh, Cu, that's it. Copper is a metal, so all metals, okay, ready to be cation, which is a positive. Okay, sometimes I use this one as like a oh, boy and girl. Okay, it's just like this one. This one is a boy, this one is a girl. Okay, which is an anion. Okay, girl. Okay, uh, now uh, this boy introduced, the new boys introduced. Then this girl checking out, oh, you want to be my friend or things like that. But these new boys, oh, they have to be qualified. That's right. Got to be more active than hydrogen cations. Now we can see this chart right here. Oh, activity series. That's right. So which one is more active than the other one? Things like that. Now, oh, hydrogen right here. This one is not metal, but okay. I put this one for comparison. Okay. So, oh, that's right. So hydrogen. Now, left hand side, all these metals, okay? So all metals, like I told you, cations, which is boys. Right hand side, this one is, oh, fluorine, not anymore fluorine, this one is a minus, that's why fluoride, okay, anion, uh, fluoride, chloride, bromide, and iodide. Now, let's compare hydrogen and right here, oh, the right hand side, copper, right here, copper. Oh, that's it. But hydrogen is more active, right? That means copper oh, failed. Ah, that's it. What if I introduce lithium? Look at this lithium. Oh, man. Oh, most active, right? Then potassium, sodium, magnesium, aluminum. Oh, how about zinc? Oh, that's what we're going to look at. Now I'm going to introduce zinc. Okay, five zincs. Now, I'm going to introduce five atoms of zinc. How about that? Oh, Z, N. That's it. Now, look at this girl right here. Oh, man. That's right. Okay, this girl go crazy. Okay, so attach to this one. Then kick this one away. Now, this girl, okay, they can use only one zinc. Okay, that's it. Then four zincs still left over right here okay you know why they have an oxidation number two that's why okay they're gonna change mind now it's gonna be positive two cations that's why okay look at this one one more time okay it was atom which is zero power right okay then this is gonna be changed to what 
That's right. Zinc, cat iron. Okay, plus two electrons. Okay, so electron goes like this. For now, I'm going to write two electrons like this. Now, you're just looking at just the zinc. Okay, zinc was zero atom. Okay, now, cat iron, which is a positive two, right? So, we call this one oxidation. See? Ox. That's it. Now, uh, let's treat this solution, you know, inside of this one like a playground. Okay? So, uh, zinc, cat ions, oh, they have a friend right here. Okay. So, they are so happy, right? But, what about this electron? Oh, so lonely. What about this cat ion, hydrogen cat ions? Oh, so lonely. Now, they are in trouble so now but only problem is they cannot go these electrons cannot go through this grass okay like a grass okay very gentle they need always highway we call circuit we call that external circuit right here outside see so this electron they must use this outside circuit which is we call conductor look at this highway right here but only problem is this highway is not connected yet. Okay, that's why this electron just waiting right there. Oh, see? Two electrons. Look at this. I just barely connected this highway. Oh, that's right. Then all of a sudden, these two electrons right here, oh, moving right now. So these two electrons, oh, they were so lonely, but they knew Okay, the cation, which the boy is waiting, lonely boy is waiting for. So, hey, so finally, so they go right here. But only problem was this highway. All of a sudden, narrow street right here, narrow road. Okay, so, oh, they have a hard time to go through, right? Okay. So they keep going, just like this one, very hard. Automatically, they're going to create what? That's right, heat. Ah, oh, that's it. So now, if you put your body in between, oh, that's right. You're going to get shocked, right? So shock. Okay. What about the light bulb like this? Oh, that's right. Inside of this one, very thin filament inside. This filament is going to be actually burning. Okay. That's why it's too hot. Now, give us what? That's right. Light. Bright light. That's what light bulb is. So finally, this electron keep moving, right? What, how you call water moving? That's right, water current, right? What about air moving, air current? Now, electron moving, electron current, which is electrical current. Think about this one. Any current, like water, okay, go through our body. Oh, that's right. So we're going to be dead, right? Because all of a sudden, so lots of water go through our body fast as uh, they could. Okay, what about air? The same thing. We can be dead, right? That's why these electrons, the same thing. Electron current so go through our body. Very dangerous, okay? That's what we call shock. So finally, so we're going to have two electrons right here. Okay, that's going to be what? Hydrogen gas. That's right. Two hydrogen. So that's what H2 is, right? That's zero power, which is atoms. Two hydrogen atoms make hydrogen gas. Oh, this bubble keep going up. Okay, that's what we call gas. So uh, instead of this light bulb, maybe we can put computer. A uh, computer works. Okay, what about stove? That's right. So anything we need heat or electricity. That's what we call power, right? On this method, okay, we have one problem. Oh, that's right. So, twinkle, twinkle, that's it. Okay, so twinkle and twinkle because of only two electrons. Okay, no more electricity. Also, one more thing, very important, right here. This one, left hand side, I told you oxidation, right? Because look at this one. Okay, zinc was zero. Then now, zinc cations, okay, which is a positive, two positives, right? That's why, oh, that oxidation number increased. That's why we call oxidation. 
Now, what about the right hand side? Oh, they received the electron. Actually, this was hydrogen wise. Okay, positive two, now zero, right? Okay, so that's why we call this one reduction. That's right. So together, read first. Okay, R E D O X, redox. Okay, reaction. Also, one more very important thing. So you have to know, right? Okay, so left hand side, oxidation side, we call anode. Oh, so anode, very important. Now, the right hand side, we call cathode. Uh huh. So, wait a minute. Then, I usually remember this one this way. Okay, look at this one, left hand side. Okay, O and A. Oh, so both vowels. What about the right hand side? Reduction, which is R and C, both consonant. Oh, so I keep uh, the vowels together and consonants together. Okay. So, oxidation left-hand side, anode. Okay, also, uh, you know what I mean, because the battery-wise, okay, whatever battery, okay, outside, they have always a positive and negative, right? In other words, cathode side is a positive, see, just like this one. Okay, this one, negative side. Also, direction of this current, okay? So, obviously, you know, okay, this current direction, right? On the top, oh, that's right, on the circuit side, Okay, negative to positive side. But a lot of people get confused because, oh, this one is negative to positive or positive to negative. Yeah, both right. Because inside of this battery, okay, so uh, generating this electricity, that's a battery, right? The bottom, this solution is battery. Okay, then, oh, obviously, this one flow this way, right? That's why positive to negative inside of a battery. But what about outside the battery, which is a circuit? That's negative to positive. See? Very, very important. At the next video, so we're going to talk about, that's right, batteries. Because a battery, oh, big field, right? Oh, man. So think about it, okay? So after that one, so we're thinking about lithium battery because lithium ion, oh, very active, right? Okay, so lithium ion battery, also rechargeable battery, so which is, okay. Then also we're going to talk about car battery. Okay, and also we're going to talk about like a solar energy, things like that, you know, in the future. So we're not going to use gasoline anymore. That's what we call green energy, right? For the middle school and uh, elementary school kids, please uh, understand this one now. In the future, hey, use it. Then if I knew this one long time ago, I could be a scientist. That's right. So I received a okay, Nobel Prize.